Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to You Are Empty. Last time we, uh, we learned the cause of the calamity, or whatever you want to call it. They were trying to use special mind waves to make the perfect Soviet citizens. And of course it went Ari, and now we have, uh, giant chickens. And, you know, metal helicopter people. So I guess now we're making our way towards the actual facility, so we can shut it down. Or... Activate the emergency mode. What is with people hiding in store display windows? And exploding. Oh dear. We've got a pseudo-giant or something here. So there's a miner stuck back here. <laughs> Angry baby man. Oh. You know, I kind of expected him to be as tough as a pseudo-giant. Oh, so he doesn't even have legs, he just has stumps. Also, now that he's dead, he kind of just looks like a, you know, plucked chicken. I like to that he's kind of solid all, <laughs> all the way through. Here's somebody muttering back here. I think that miner's still alive. I could just completely ignore him, but, you know. Oh, wow. Is that the first time one of those guys has actually hit me? I don't remember. But I guess we're getting somewhat close to the end because, you know, we have our presumably final objective. Oh, there's that blimp, or a blimp. that car over. <laughs> Remember these guys? They showed up in that one level. Actually, I think they showed up in both plant levels. That'll be quite enough rivets from you, sir. I love that some of these cars, though, are just like super light physics objects for some reason. There was that uh, land on your head attack. See, it took about half my health there. Traumatic sting for no reason. No, we can't get down there. And there's some health. Is there. Oh no, that's just the door. I thought I saw some like hidden ammo under the seats. out here. There we go. Excuse me. Get your physics out of the way. It's funny, one of the few things uh, I think it was GameSpot said when they got a preview of this game was that there may be some unintended consequences with the physics system. Which is a nice way of saying, hey, your physics are janky as fuck. I think it was Matt Rory that said that. Before he was at Giant Bomb. going. I think I'm just going to let this one play out. No, okay, I think that that's all that's going to happen. Well, at least he was smart enough to try to get closer before firing that thing. <laughs> this guy has the best face. He kind of looks like exaggeratedly large in his face. Like he's got a comic face. But then some of the other enemies don't. Another, another display window enemy. Let's get the uh, double barrel and see if that kills him. I'm just gonna 
take that. And then I'll just mosin along. That doesn't even closely sound like what I was trying. Just a just a mannequin in that telephone booth. Oh. You're gonna tell me that we couldn't like pull that thing to us with a fucking bayonet? You know, just kinda drag it. Or just stick your arm through, it's not a very small hole. Juice up. Oh, son of a bitch. This is not a uh, combo I want to deal with. So we're gonna duck around the corner. Cause getting sniped and fighting this guy at the same time is... Oh. Well. <laughs> I like that he got stuck and just sort of backed himself out. Oh. I was, uh, I was gonna chalk that up as another mystery explosion, but him rolling over this car blew it up. Alright, where's that, uh, palace guard, I think these guys are called? God, he is a good shot. I can't even see him, I just see his muzzle flash. Oh, fuck you, car. Exploded right into my shot. Let's take that. Please stop shooting me. This is such a good place for him to be shooting, too. There's not a lot of cover. God, even when you're crouching, you, like, wiggle as you walk. I can't just push this car over to him. Do I have a Molotov? No, I don't. Alright. I guess I just want to pop a shot off at his head. Okay, now I can see him. I hit the car. I hit the car again. God, the car's hit the really big. Okay, got him. Let's get some nice water. Also, it looks like the cup was full until we press the button and then it refills. You know, someone actually helpfully told me the sort of change equivalent to a ruble, and I've already forgotten what it was. So, sorry about that. Something that starts with a K. You know, and apparently you could actually get syrup with your carbonated water. It wasn't just, you know, tonic water. Okay, so we are trying to get over to that key. Oh, good, another one. And he threw a manhole cover at me. Okay, I don't really want to waste my Mosin on this guy. Oh, wow. He's just gonna keep picking that up and throwing it. Oh no, he's got a supply of them. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. Alright, we've killed, what, like, five of these guys now? Four of them? Oh. Make sure everything's loaded. Alright. So there's been a lot of, like, small encounters here, as opposed to just, like, here's ten guys in a circle. Okay, this should lead right over to our firefighter. Something about testing your water? Give me, give, give shotgun. Thank you. I wonder if there's going to be, like, two rats down here. <laughs> the most ineffectual enemy in this game. Even the, uh, I think they're called hamsters from Stalker are more dangerous. And they're basically also just rats. And this, this is what a miner's brain looks like.
This is your brain. And this is your brain on mining. Yeah, that's not a bad reflection. I mean, you can clearly tell that it's just a kind of a window with a flipped version of this hallway, but it doesn't look bad. Except for the fact that, you know, we're a vampire or something, so we don't appear. I guess this is Russia, and we'd be a Strigoi. I actually don't think that's Russia. Pretty sure Strigoi is different, like your Eastern European nations and Poland, whatnot. Are you gonna get up? No? Oh shit. Still can't open this door, though. I was hoping we get a closer look at that mannequin. Not where we came from. What is the point of this room? Oh no, we came from down here. So I guess we just go back down? Can I really not open this? Alright, let's try not to... Get a quick save first. Let's try not to die on this ladder. Just gotta fit my fat ass through this hole. Here's some breathing. Someone's waiting patiently for us. Probably a firefighter, it sounds like. They have a slightly different sound to them than the gas mask guys. Yeah, I see a fire axe. I give it a 10. Helicopter guy just murdered someone, it sounds like. He doesn't see us. Wow. I hoping that would just assassinate him. Um, alright. I, I know it's probably a little hard to see with that welding mask, but he was like 10 feet away. Sounds like there's somebody over there. And this is not a door anyway, so I guess we have to go that way. You know, I just realized that, like, that part at the end of the second level where we drove away is, like, the only in engine cutscene we've seen in this whole game. Everything else has just been that uh, animated stuff. Battle of the Ages here. Luckily, he was not willing to pursue. You can't just wait for greatness to come to you. Sometimes you just have to run up and jam both barrels into its gut. Okay, this looks like a locked gate. Aha. Okay, some snuffling. Probably pick this guy off. Oh, I thought he was going to throw his fire axe at me. That would have been great. I would not have expected that. I guess I did expect that, because I said that, but, you know. It would have been surprising, still. Ma'am? This thing does not look like it's held together very well. No, that leg that's not really attached is, uh, I thought it would just fall off. Like that, uh, that chair in Trespasser that's just a bunch of pieces of a chair, like, precariously balanced. Now well, we got another, uh, note. I wonder why there's been these speculations about giant rats again. They say a brigade was attacked in Sector 4 when they were working in a tunnel. That wasn't Russian at all, I wasn't even trying there. That was just my reading voice. ammo back here? Nope. This is a fairly long level. Again, the, the actual length of the levels is weirdly inconsistent. Especially for the ones that are kind of like multi-parters. Like, this is Cinema 2, and it's a lot longer than Cinema 1. 
And also, we're not in a cinema at all, so I don't know why it's called Cinema 2.